there are a lot of printmakers who have made a huge impact on me. There's an annual printmaking convention that I would go to as a student called Frogman's in South Dakota, and Sean Caulfield is one of my favorite printmakers. I'm also really influenced by some of the Impressionists. I went to the Orsay Museum in Paris this summer and saw some Van Gogh work that words can't even describe what you feel when you see some of that work. I've always been extremely interested in texture in my work, but because of the mediums that I'm using, I'm never really pulling in texture. You know, it's never about the height off the paper. A lot of the painters that I love are oil artists, and so I was always trying to figure out a way to bring that feeling of texture that some of the Impressionists got in with the flat work. So some of the mark making, some of the stitching that I do in a lot of my later work, that's how I think that work has really influenced my own work, even though it's a lot more flat physically. I've always been all about the training. It was never about ranking up. It was never about finishing. It was always about the process. And I think that that has really influenced my work as an artist. I think it really is all about each individual mark, each individual decision, kind of honing the craft a lot. Uh, there are a lot of things that I make in the studio that just fail. I mean, like wildly are just dead. And that's fine. That's part of my process. Um, on the back of this piece, every piece you that you make as an artist, you have a memory of. You know how many hours you spent. You know the decisions that you make. You look at it, and it's like this snapshot of time. And I think that's really obvious with this piece, that there are a lot of layers. There are a lot of decisions. So on the back of this piece, I know that there's actually a piece of artwork behind it, because in the studio, I've made the decision to be extremely sustainable. I have a completely non-talk studio and I reuse everything. So if a piece dies, that's fine. It gets flipped over and I draw on top of it. And so I know that this is part of the history of that piece.